What is up, Karatex? In this video, we're going to be talking about this week's Dub Money Event Week, as well as the newest additions and discounts as well. This event week is for October 27th through November 2nd, 2022. So, for new content this week, we did receive the Weevil Custom. Finally, it's here. Uh, however, the Sentinel Classic Widebody has not released as of yet. And that's a bit strange because that car was supposed to release before the Weevil, according to the website order. So, Hopefully we get the Sentinel Classic wide body next week, but only time will tell. And then the last car of the drip feed should be the 10F wide body releasing on November 10th. But anyways, the current prize ride for this week is the Taipan. So this car is primarily based on the Hennessy Venom F5, although the proportions are a bit strange on the GTA 5 variant, and it has a normal price of just under $2 million. To get this car for free, you have to place top one, meaning first place, in an LS Car Meet Series race for five days in a row. I have never seen that before. Usually it's a maximum of four days. Five days is absolutely nuts. You have to log in pretty much almost every day of the week except for two. But then again, this is a $2 million car. Now, in terms of performance, this is in the supercar class and is one of the worst performing ones in that class for track performance, being around the pace of the Voltic. So yeah, not a quick car for track performance, it's just a very expensive, slow supercar. In terms of the test ride vehicles for this week, we have the Penetrator, the Raiden, and the Blade as well. And for next-gen console players, we have the Sentinel XS as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Now, in terms of the casino podium vehicle, we have the Frankenstein. So this vehicle is primarily based on the Monster Coach from the 1960s TV show The Monsters, and has a normal price of $550,000. So not a super expensive car. In terms of performance, it's in the Sports Classics class and is one of the slower cars in that class for track performance, which honestly is to be expected. However, in a straight line, it is pretty quick, and it has an incredible exhaust note as well. One of the best sounding cars in the game in my opinion. Obviously not as good as the XA21, uh, but definitely in my top 5 best sounding cars for sure. The Frankenstein sounds incredible. In terms of dealership cars for this week, for luxury autos, we have the Vision and the Revolter as well. And for Simeons, we have the Weevil, the Pagali, the Lurcher, the Sanctus, and the RT3000 as well. Moving on to the discounts, in terms of property discounts, we have 50% off the Arena this week, as well as 50% off the upgrades and renovations for it as well. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Vision. So this car is in the supercar class and is around 20th place in that class, being around the pace of the Nero Custom. It's a great looking car with some decent customization as well. Next up, we have 40% off the Penetrator. So this car is in the supercar class and is around 40th place in that class depending on the track, so not the quickest supercar, but I personally think it's still a pretty good looking car resembling the XJ220, and honestly I think it's a pretty solid deal at this price. Moving along, we have 30% off the Raiden. So this car is of course in the sports car class and has fantastic acceleration as you might expect from an electric car, but obviously it does lack in terms of handling and top speed, placing it around 40th place in the class for most tracks, plus the customization really isn't all that great either. Moving on to the Severn San Andreas website, we have 30% off the iWagon. So this vehicle is in the SUVs class and actually has the lowest top speed in that class of only 91 miles an hour, which I find absolutely hilarious. It's very, very slow. I think this SUV is just way overpriced for what it is. Next up, we have 40% off the Weevil, which is a useful discount for those of you looking to convert it into the new Weevil Custom this week. And the base car itself does have tons of customization as well. Moving along, we have 40% off the Impala. So this vehicle is in the muscle car class and is actually around top 10 in that class for track performance. It's a good looking car that has some decent customization as well, and it's quick. It's just an overall great car. Next up, we have 
50% off the Lurcher, which is a fantastic deal on this Halloween vehicle. Moving along, we have 30% off the Pagali. So this car is in the Sports Classics class and is a ton of fun to drive with some decent customization as well. Next up, we have 50% off the Blade. So this car is in the Muscle Car class and has fantastic acceleration and decent customization. It's honestly a steal at this price. Moving along, we have 40% off the Sanctus, which of course is inspired by the Ghost Rider bike. It has great customization and is a ton of fun to do wheelies and mess around with in general, but honestly I think it's still a bit overpriced for what it is, even with this discount. Next up we have 50% off the Gargoyle. So this of course is the bike that can do the wheelie speed glitch if you install one of the large rear wheels. A great one for messing around with. Moving on to the Arena War website, we have 40% off the Arena Bruiser bringing that conversion cost down to just under a million. Next up we have 40% off the Arena Impaler, bringing that conversion cost down to about 700,000. We have 40% off the Arena Sasquatch, bringing that conversion cost down to 900,000. And lastly we have 30% off the Arena Cerberus. Out of all these arena variants on sale, I do think the Sasquatch is the most fun, but then again, that's just my opinion. In terms of clothing discounts, we have 30% off Arena War outfits. In terms of returning events, all the Halloween events are back from last year, including the Peyote Plants, the UFO Business Battles, Phantom Car, and Slasher as well. However, for Slasher this year, there is a 50% chance that a clone of yourself will spawn to kill you instead of the traditional slasher, which I find absolutely hilarious. In terms of login unlocks, you can get this death mask for free, just for logging in this week, which is pretty cool. Also, if you complete any cell mission this week, you unlock the Halloween parachute bag, which is awesome. In terms of double money, we have double money and RP on the adversary modes Beast vs Slasher, Bunker Slasher, Come Out to Play, Condemned, Diamond Slasher, Judgment Day, Lost vs Damned, Missile Base Slasher, and the original Slasher as well. So for those of you who love adversary modes, this is the perfect <laughs> event week for you. And lastly, we have double Arena points on Arena War this week. So no double money on Arena War, just Arena points. I think that's kind of a missed opportunity there. I don't see why they didn't just put double money on it as well. I don't think double Arena points is enough to bring people back to those modes by itself. But anyways, moving on to the Prime Gaming bonuses for Prime Gaming members only. So again, same as usual, the only thing we have is the usual free $125,000 for logging in during the event week period. And lastly, this week's RC Bandito time trial is Vespucci Beach. This week's normal time trial is Storm Drain, arguably the easiest time trial in the game, probably take you like 30 seconds. I highly recommend a car with a high top speed or a fast bike such as the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, or Batty 801 for this time trial. In terms of the premium race for this week, we have the Supercar Race Congestion Charge. I highly recommend Aravita Vest 8, Emerus, or Krieger for that race. And if you're on Next Gen, I highly recommend using the HSW Vest 8 or the HSW Weaponized Ignis for this race. And lastly, for Next Gen console users, the HSW Time Trial is North Chumash. As always, the HSW Hakachu Drag would be the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the Weevil at 40% off. Even the base car itself is a fantastic buy with tons of customization. And of course, if you do decide to upgrade it to the Weevil Custom, you have the base car at a much cheaper price than usual. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is pretty good with some good discounts, Halloween events, decent double money, not the best, just adversary modes, but at least it's something. And of course, the new Weevil Custom. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.